Africa, the white woman who said, kill all the black men and let Biafrans go, is at it again. See what she's saying. I tell you that in the whole world, in the whole world, in the whole world now, Biafran has been recognized. At first, it was just 120 countries that has raised up the flag. Now, they are more than 120 now, as we speak. Biafran is now everywhere. And any country you travel today, the population for Biafran increases as the population of that very country increases. When you decide to take a population census, and you will be able to see that the Biafrans are having quite a huge number, a huge, a very huge number. And that is why, as it is now, it's already functioning as a republic, even if it has not been uh, be, be, been pronounced to the world. The Biafran currency is already in use. The radio Biafran is already in use. You understand? The flag already have its permanent stand. You see that? So, what else? Aside from what has just been reviewed now. In fact, there is nothing as good as reality. Let quickly see what this woman have just said. It's a shocker. South Africa is in another mix after a racist voiced note against black South Africans came to light. Though the apartheid reign is over, it has now been made clear that a higher percentage of the white population still sees blacks most especially Nigerians, are slaves. The woman behind the racist note has come out to slam the Nigerian government. During an audio interview, she said that the Biafrans are known to be a great fighters. The Republic of Biafra already exists during the war. The Igbos are the Biafrans. The Igbos existed as a people and also as a nation. The reign of Ojuku gave the name Biafra and also made it a republic that it is today. The amalgamation is what is presently causing the issue. Looking at things today, Nigeria is nowhere to be found. The situation is getting worse by the day. People are dying. Kidnapping has taken the place. It is better they allow the Biafrans to go. I am weakened and troubled each time I hear the killing of innocent evils. These people have suffered. Is it not better to kill all the blacks and let the Biafrans go? It's so painful. Biafrans must be free. <laughs> Do you just take your time and look at the picture of the person I'm talking about. He's already scrolling on the light show. You will see it. You will see it. He's already scrolling on the slideshow in fact the woman is a real racist you, uh, you you'll be shocked I, I i am moved by a statement you know it was said that it is not only the Igbos or uh, nigerians that are really fighters of the republic of Biafra, but some 
strong activists are also involved. And that is what we are presently seeing now. I am impressed. I'm very much perplexed. <laughs> Where is in trouble? More than trouble. Um, well, it is not, uh, we, we should not be surprised because uh, Vary actually called for it and he is seeing what he called for. The sweet part of this is that day after day, the Biafrans are getting their support and um, the numbers are increasing. Look at some persons now that are just coming in. This should give you a clear picture that uh, the Republic is already uh, close. So let us be ready. Let us be ready. All right. Uh, let's quickly uh, hear from you and to know what you equally think. What's your own opinion on what has just been revealed on the issue of the Afro Republic? Don't forget your comments. They are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.